Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and this morning I'm looking at an important book from Butterworth's LexisNexis. It's this book here. It's called Human Trafficking Handbook, and it's got a subtitle, Recognising Trafficking and Modern Day Slavery in the UK. This is the book itself. It's quite a heavy book. The back, you can hardly read it, unfortunately. That says what it's about. I, I can't actually really make much of that out at all because of the inverted um, way it's printed. The index is extremely detailed and very useful. This is a heavy book in all sense of the word, 600 odd pages. The front of the book is quite important as well. I've taken much of the review from the foreword by um, Sir Nicholas Bratzer. That's his foreword there. The general editor is uh, Parosha Chandran. And there are, in fact, a very large number of people who have been contributing. I'll come on to that in a minute. The book itself has the standard structure of paragraph numbering. There are very detailed footnotes, which you can probably see at the sides there. And each chapter has a conclusion, which I think, again, is very important uh, concerning the aspects that they're covering in the various chapter heads. Um, it's a very detailed book. I'm going to give a more general picture, uh, bearing in mind that from the Human Rights Act, Article 1 deals with the uh, abolition and prohibition on slavery and the problems that we really are facing at the moment, which are uh, much worse than people would actually imagine. We've given it the title Modern Slavery Expertly Explained in the Human Rights Context, and this is what I'm saying. Although it may sound a rather crude statement, this handbook is about all aspects of modern slavery, known also as trafficking, and its relatively unchecked re-emergence into our modern society. Now, we have a number of problems internationally, corruption being one of the big ones. This is partly linked with it, but I thought we got rid of slavery. I think a lot of people have thought we probably got rid of a lot of the nastier aspects. Unfortunately, if you read the newspapers, seems to be a few items here and there about the matter coming back again, people behaving in the wrong way, and it's a matter that we've got to keep an eye on. Now, there are 27 contributors to this publication um, with a diversity of topics, and there are seven organisations who've also contributed with the 12 appendices which are, um, are covered in, in some detail at the back. It makes this book, in the words of Nicholas Bratzer, not a me merely a modestly um, titled handbook, but even more a detailed manual, really, formulated by the distinguished field of experts who contributed to the work. Bratzer says that whilst there's a mine of information and clear and practical guidance, the handbook examines all aspects of human trafficking in its separate chapters, of applicability to uh, what I think is a wider readership. The experts used are, um, here are from many different fields. They include doctors, children's services, domestic and international trafficking specialists, legal practitioners, police pro and prosecutors, and members of the organisations which I mentioned that uh, are dedicated to the support of victims. What strikes me when one reads through the work are the valuable con um, conclusions in each chapter at the end and the substantial detail in the footnotes. The recurring theme throughout, of course, is that of the victim. And as Bratzer remarks, the areas range from the identification of victims and potential victims of trafficking and their treatment and support to issues including the special problems relating to child victims in particular. The handbook covers worldwide concerns, therefore reviewing the international rights and duties affecting the protection of victims. And it's suitable for Bratzer to, to write the form as, as Vice President of the um, European Court of Human Rights. The legislative and operational measures here in the UK relating to the non-criminalisation of victims and the investigation and prosecution of human traffickers are well covered in our view. So the picture painted illustrates a stark reality that in spite of the advances made here recently, much remains to be done. The conclusion on modern slavery is that that of a, a common theme and a continuing concern which the contributors raise with the need to ensure 
that respect for human rights of all victims of trafficking will have to underpin all anti-trafficking measures. And as I said, I go back to the Human Rights Act itself. Whatever your views about that act, the, the main provision on slavery is one of the most fundamental of all of the provisions. It's an excellent handbook, and as I um, would like to conclude um, by quoting from the book, it will become an indispensable resource for all concerned with combating this pernicious trade. And very unfortunately, most important for today's society, of course, when our forefathers had probably thought this matter had gone away. Unfortunately, it hasn't, and that's why we need the book. And it's actually a very important book for the future, because unless this matter is gripped and dealt with, we're going to have some problems. So thank you to all the people concerned. I'm very grateful to have it. It's a great contribution to modern uh, legal thinking. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.